Hey, what's going on, folks? This King Kunja, Mr. Ogun Strong himself, coming at you with this morning message at actually 2.18 in the afternoon. Yes, I'm on my way to work. Going to work in late today. I had to take my mama to a few appointments today. So uh, I actually made a couple videos earlier today. You know, um, they were just uh, spontaneous. Some stuff was coming to me. Um, but I'm trying to stay consistent with these messages. Um, man inspired a really good friend of mine that um she she really she's really a real spiritual person has a lot of great insight about life and the world i told her say hey man you need to um you need to share your thoughts with the world man you need to um you know um, um you know put that stuff on youtube and share it out to the world so she just sent me um a link to her daily reflection uh, overcoming self-doubt so you know I'm very excited you know what I'm saying you know what I'm talking about I'm very excited so I can't wait to see the rest of them but um, yo um, you know I don't even have a title for this morning's message but you know since I created the Ogun Strong Marathon Challenge I've learned a lot about people I've learned a lot I, le I really have learned a lot about people um, I have a few beliefs about myself, about life, the world, the universe, etc., etc. And so, you know, everything about me is shaped around those beliefs. Like everybody, you know, um, your beliefs is, is going to dictate how you respond to a lot of things in life. You know what I'm saying? I'm not necessarily talking about religious beliefs. I'm just talking about the things you've accepted about this world, yourself, and life. Like me, I believe that a person is who they choose to be. And I believe that we have the free will to choose to be any and anything, any and everything that we want to be. Now, granted, there are physical, physiological, and physics limitations to that, right? Meaning that, uh, like a, a buddy, a really good friend of mine and I was, uh, you know, going back and forth on people being different. And his example was that a paraplegic, you know, couldn't, you know, run a marathon but maybe could write a book about a marathon. And I was like, well, you know what? I, I, I disagree. And I'm gonna tell you why I disagree. Logically, no. A paraplegic in a wheelchair cannot literally run a marathon with their own legs. But then I found this story about a white kid, I believe his name was Ryan Hoyt. Paraplegic, born paraplegic. The man uh, 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 couldn't talk for years until they got, matter of fact, couldn't talk at all, actually. Can't talk at all until, they, until this technology came about that he, he uses with his, with his head to type out what he's thinking. And, and, and one of the things he said to his, communicate with his parents through this device is that I want to run a marathon and do the Iron Man. Now, here's a paraplegic who was born with the, the uh, not being able to walk and do any other physical activity still said I want to do this this kid made the decision to do something the laws of physics said he could not do he refused to accept the laws of physics now some people say that's fucking crazy right you know gravity is gravity you know no matter how hard I want no matter how bad I want to fly the laws of gravity is not going to allow me to fly but guess what I got the free will to number one believe I can and number two I got the free will to put effort into doing so let me tell you about let me tell you about stepping outside of your comfort zone, breaking down walls of limitation and 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 and, and not limiting yourself and making premature uh, conclusions about your capabilities in life, physical, tangible or non-tangible. Before the Wright brothers, nobody believed it was humanly possible to create a device that people can fly in called an airplane. As a matter of fact, people thought them niggas was crazy. But they saw something other people couldn't see. You know what I'm saying? And before you know it, we got airplanes all over the world. Every, every major industrial nation got airplanes, airlines, and airports. Nobody think they're crazy now. Now everybody's adding on to their idea. New plane designs and, and, and so forth and so forth. But when they was out, people thought they were crazy. On the beach in Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, with their prototype machines trying to make it fly, you know? So I'm sure when they told people then, we want to create a device so people can fly, they looked at them like, them niggas crazy. Like, no one going around telling people God's going to 
bring on rain for 40 days and 40 nights and we need to build, build a boat for all two of all the animals on the planet and all the humans now i'm not turning this into a religious um uh, discussion but you know that story people thought he was crazy too you know what i'm saying so that's the trick part the exceptional people in this world are going to be crazy to people who accept mediocrity you're going to be crazy to the people who are cool with being average you're going to be crazy to people who accept limitations in life you are you're going to be crazy to people who walk in fear and walk in doubt they tell they they focus more on what they can't do than what they can you understand what i'm saying you know um you know so uh, you know don't limit yourself don't limit yourself you are born great and you got the free will to decide to be great each and every day you wake up you understand what i'm saying so and as long as you're walking in fear as long as you're walking in doubt as long as you're dealing with limitations you know what I'm saying? You you are going. To, you are not going to tap into potential that's dormant, that's waiting to awake. Man, you got so much fucking potential that's waiting to just just waiting, like like just to come out to create something that the world is going to need beyond your existence, like airplanes, like electricity, like architecture. You know, like Imhotep, the ancient African. One of the first and earliest known architects, physicians, etc. You know, it's because of him, not Hippocrates. It's because of Imhotep that we got met, that we got the field of medicine today. One of the earliest evidences of architecture, you know, when he created the first pyramid in Egypt, in ancient Kemet. So, all I'm saying, look, I, you know, I know who I am. I am Kunji II. You know, my ancestors were the Tikar people of West Cameroon. You know, we migrated from the Nile Valley. I know who my, I know myself and I know my ancestors and I know some of the great things that my people have done. You know what I'm saying? So that's in my DNA. My people have done great things in this world. So I'm sure everybody, no matter who you are, what race you are, what ethnic background you are, if you dig deep, you will realize your people have done some great stuff. Everybody has done some great stuff in this world. So tap into that greatness and, and manifest it through you. And don't be the weak link and your family chain, you know, I'm not going to be the weak link. So, wow, you know, uh, I, I still don't have a title for it. Wow, and it's almost over. I don't have a title because I just pulled up at work. You know, all I'm saying is the same energy that you put into finding reasons why you can't do something, put the same energy into trying to find why you can. Get out of the I can't camp and join the I can'ts. You know what I'm saying? You know, well, that's going to be the end of the video. Um, eat clean. Accept no limitations. No excuses. Awaken your dormant potential. Manifest your destiny. Walk in your purpose. Eat clean. Be Ogun Strong. Let's get fit. Oh, go to Ogun Strong Facebook page. Click on events. Click on the Ogun Strong Marathon Challenge. Join the challenge. Step outside your comfort zone. This is King Kunji II. I'm out.